This video will look at the different body parts of caterpillars as well as the differences in appearance of those parts. And the purpose of that is to understand how to better differentiate and identify caterpillars. Caterpillars are the larval or immature form of butterflies and moths. These are also referred to as the Lepidoptera or Lepidopteran pests. It's just important to understand because there are other ones that look like caterpillars but that aren't. And a lot of the different parts that you're going to see really aren't necessarily ones you're going to use unless you've got some pretty good equipment to be able to look very, very, very closely. But in a general sense, a lot of the differences are ones that you can use to just sort of say, yep, that's a caterpillar. And then you can look closely at a certain parts and you can kind of narrow it down and say, I think that's probably this particular one. But once this is finished drawing out, you'll be able to see what those different parts are called. And then once you know those different names, you can use some of the different characteristics and traits of those particular ones uh, to differentiate between different species of caterpillars. Now this is just a generic looking caterpillar. Not every caterpillar has all of these features. I mean, they will have some form of them, but they won't necessarily look like that. So the first thing to look at and recognize that a caterpillar has three essential segments of their body. And it's important to note because those can vary a bit. So the first part is the head, which contains the mouth and eyes and other parts. Then the thorax, which is sort of, on a human, I guess, would be the shoulders and upper chest. And then the abdomen. So the thorax has three segments, and a caterpillar's abdomen is made up of ten segments. On each of those segments, you'll see different pieces. So on the shoulder or on the thorax, there's a thing called the prothoracic shield, which can vary and differ. Then there's a thing called the frontal triangle. It's essentially the face of the caterpillar and it can look a little different. These little dots are called ocelli, and then the mouth parts are called mandibles. Caterpillars have three true legs uh, at the front, and then these little dots are called spiracles. They're actually uh, breathing pores. Uh, there'll be four prolegs on the abdominal sections. Then there's the setae, which can vary quite a bit. This is an anal plate, which can vary, and an anal proleg. So it's basically the leg on the back end of the caterpillar. When we look at the body, we can differentiate caterpillars by their color. So they might be a solid color. They might be camouflaged and have different kind of a patterned uh, body. They might have um, spots or blotches. So they might be spotted. They might be uh, what's this next one is referred to as slashed, which has sort of uh, diagonal striping, I guess, if you want to call it that way. Uh, then there's also one called banded, where you'd have patterns of uh, vertical stripes that run down the body. And then there's striped ones that run horizontally down the length of the body. You can look at these, uh, the density of the hair on the body can differentiate between different caterpillars. So in some cases, you might have it where the whole thing is just one big little fluff ball. You might have some that have none. You might have ones that have um, little tufts of, of things. So this first one is a dense hair. This one's sparse. And then this one would be a tufted. And then you could, of course, have one that has either no hair or inconspicuous hair. When you look at the setae, you can see some differences between them. So they might be solitary. They might have a little protrusion with a solitary hair, either long or short. They might have a bigger protrusion with short hairs. They might have um, the hairs coming out either in a clump in one direction or divergent. They might have, a, like, little bristles almost, or they might have a little plate where they have little spines. If you look at the prolegs, uh, again, this is starting to get pretty close. Um, you might see different things that are called uh, crochets or, or grippers, and I probably pronounced that wrong. But anyways, it, basically it's the little grippy feet on the bottom of their, of their abdominal feet. And so they might be in, in a circle or in a half circle, a double line or a single line. 
other body parts or features that you might use to differentiate between different caterpillar species. You might, they might have a dorsal horn in the case of something like a hornworm. They might have knobs. They might have spines. Uh, they might have what's called um, lashes, where they've got hair, dense hair at both ends. Their face might have head horns, so then that frontal triangle. They might have a split tail. And there's all sorts of different features you can use to look at and differentiate between caterpillars.